Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about how to get a free Minecraft server with Feather Client. Now, if you haven't heard of Feather Client, it is currently rated one of the best um, clients for Minecraft right now. And if you're not using it, make sure to use it. It's an amazing client. What this client actually lets you do is it comes with pre-built mods and you can, of course, add your old mods with own mods with launcher. And you can just, just flip them on and off when you want. It has built-in voice chat. It, it gives you an FPS boost. And that's all amazing. But... It also lets you host your own server for free and i'm going to be teaching you how to make the server um what you need to make the server and how what you need to make it run smoothly so let's get into that all right so first now you're going to want to go to feathermc.com or just click the link in the description and while you're down there why don't you join the discord we have some amazing content that's being posted almost weekly now so once you're here you just want to click it download it for three um you're going to want to click on that it will download uh, right wherever you want to download it. It'll take a couple seconds to download depending on how good your Wi-Fi is. So once it's done, you're going to want to double click on the Feather um, thing and do your download. Now, as I already have Feather Client installed, I'm not going to be able to run you through the installation process, but it's pretty simple. You just click next a couple times, except the terms and conditions and done. So once you have it for the client downloaded, first you want to go and click up here and sign in with your Microsoft account. Um, if you've not yet migrated your mic your Mojang account with Microsoft account, you'll need to do that first. So uh, now that you're here, you can explore the client. It's amazing, but we're gonna want to click on the bottom one that says servers. So you're not gonna be seeing exactly what I see. I have my little YouTube server here, but it will say create a new one you'll click that or if you already have an existing server made with them you're going to want to click on the plus sign down here so once you're here you're going to want to make a title for your server now this will not be showing up exactly on the minecraft page if i'm not wrong um maybe it will maybe it won't depends how you're adding it i haven't tried that yet but you're going to want to title it i'll just title it to tutorial because i'll probably delete this then I'm you're going to want to do the proxy name, which is basically the name you're gonna put. So I'm just gonna do ytt at dot feathermc dot gg. Um, you can't change the end part sadly. Then you choose: Do you want it to come with mods, or do you want it to just be normal? So you can have vanilla, paper, fabric, or custom. For example, if you're using Forge, or you're using another way to run your mods, uh, you can use that and i'm gonna just go with vanilla because i'm not going to add any mods but you may then you want to choose a version now they only support 1.18 and up sadly so if you're going to do like a little pvp server in 1.8.9 that's sadly not going to be available but we'll do 1.19 now this is where it gets a little bit more complicated on your pc so this is not run on their servers it's run off your big chunky pc you may have a nice smooth one like this or a dog auto one like this um depending on it what it is is this is where you need to make sure that your pc does not turn into a nuke so how are you going to figure out what settings is correct for you now you want to click on your keyboard Control shift escape then a window like this will appear if it doesn't just search up in your um apps task manager and it should come up uh if your thing looks like this just click on more details and it'll come up with this and you're going to want to click on the performance tab now this is everything your pc runs basically um you want to go to your memory now as you see i have 16 gigabytes of ram currently about half of that is being used not much um if you go to processes as you can see uh, currently without running a server or anything only 50 percent is being used so from there you're able to choose what you have now i don't think there is exactly a recommended amount but i'd go from around two to four megabytes is really all you need for a couple of friends to be on it obviously if you can't really do a massive server with like a hundred people on it um i think yeah the most you can do is 13 but that is definitely overkill i would go for about um 2000 to 4000 in megabytes of ram so i'm going to do 4000 and then you choose how many slots you have so this is something you can just play around with at how many players does it get too laggy for your pc and that's when you can choose how many players you can have the max you can have is actually 100 um because that's no not no computer running minecraft and a server can really host over 100 people really so yeah 
Um, ignore the launch args because as it says for advanced users, we, we don't know anything. And then you want to create server. Um, you're gonna have to accept the Minecraft EULA and yeah. Now this will happen time, time to time. If the proxy server has already been taken, then you're gonna have to make a new one. I'll just do Xion YT tutorial. And there you go, we've made the server. Now, obviously you're able to edit the server anytime you want. And basically first thing you wanna do is start the server. Basically, you're gonna to wanna to throw it up and it's started. Now, you're probably thinking, oh, do I need Feather Client to play this? No, no, absolutely not. You can play this on any client. It's just hosted on Feather Client because I've been talked to when I've been making my most recent YouTube video that's gonna be posted in a couple days. Um, people are like, it's all the server and like, oh, I don't have Feather Client. It doesn't matter, you can do it with anyone. Now, the first time you run it up, as you see, we're getting all of these logs. This is just the server being created, so you're going to want to do this. Then it should automatically power your server off. So we just want to wait while the world gets created. Now, one thing that should probably be noted that is kind of important is in your task manager, as you see here, um, it is now at 70% memory because it's using 4,000 megabytes. Um, so as I did say before, have Task Manager on while you're doing this. Make sure that your PC isn't going to blow up because that is definitely not what we want. So just to prove we don't need another client to run this, I'm going to be running this on Luna Client, a different client. You can also do this, um, in my most recent video, I did it on the vanilla Minecraft launcher. It doesn't matter. You can, don't even have to launch Minecraft with Feather. You can just use it for a server hosting thing and it works amazingly well. Now, as you can see, my memory over there is actually getting a bit crabbed up. So if this does happen to you, just close something that's running. It looks like OpenGX. I really don't need that right now. So I can just throw that up, give my room, leave my um, PC a bit of room to breathe. That's always lovely for it. So if you are experiencing lag in your memory is quite high your friends may not also be experiencing that lag that is just you because of your um pc anyway so you're now on here you would now want to make the um thing so you can give the server name whatever you want i'm just gonna do tutorial then you want to go ahead and put in the server host so luckily if you do have um fear the client you can just pop that open and copy it and boom there we go Okay, so there we go. We click on that. And boom, I have no idea. There we go, yeah. So this is your little server. So um, you are able to play with friends on it and it's a lot of fun. Now there's a couple of things you may need to know now. So the first thing is how do you op yourself? You want to go in creative, but you're not able to. You're going to want to open up the Feather um, uh, dashboard and just type in Op, and then your username, so she on TTV. And now, what you can, as you wanted to before, slash game mode, creative. You can go in that. You can op others, I think. Yeah, you can op other people. So that works pretty well too. Um, uh, I don't think there are really any other commands you need to give in the dashboard. If there are, and you're not able to make those commands, just do it in that dashboard, as I showed you before. But one thing you will probably run into if you're using command blocks is you're going to go uh, slash clear at A because you know why not. And it'll say command blocks are not enabled on the server. Now this is where it just gets a teeny bit more complex. So you're going to want to open the feather, feather disk. I can't English today. <laughs> you're going to want to open the feather dashboard and click on the open folder button. Then this is going to open up. Now this is your server's um, like file. This is what it is running behind. This is all the code behind it. Now you're going to want to click on the server properties. Now this is going to open up. Now it's going to look a bit scary, but you're just going to want to find the enable command block um, text. And it should say false. You want to change it to true. This just means that, that you can use um, command blocks in your server. And I found uh, with my new video, uh, just to make things faster, I'd like to use command block. So you're gonna wanna save that and then close. Now you're gonna want to restart your Feather, your, um, Feather server. So you wanna click power off, should be kicked from the server as you see. And then you're gonna click go back, start server. 
and it will boot right back up and this time will be a lot faster because it has everything already ready for it um so it doesn't have to make a new world and everything and the way that you know when you have um your world is ready to join it should say done in 4.7 blah blah seconds for help type help so you didn't want to reconnect and if you now do clear clear at a done you'll see it says command set and if you do a pre pressure plate and just walk on it boom it works amazingly so if you guys want more tutorials on how to make servers and some complex stuff comment your questions below and have a great rest of your day make sure to subscribe like bye